All right. Okay, so we have a little bit of a puzzle look here, don't we? <laughs> An off-balance puzzle, but it's okay. It will make sense in the end. So interestingly enough for you all, Aries, uh, two bridge cards, and I'm lying them horizontally, wanted to come out for you. So this will be like, okay, second half of July, transition bridge into August, the first half of August, and then another bridge card. That's just how we're going to play it this time, okay? So let's turn over the first two cards. Nice. All right. Well, this one's come up one other time. Can you see these cards? Well, you know, they're totally opposite cards. What can I say? And in the other reading, I'm trying to remember who that was. I'm thinking it was... I don't know if it was Capricorn or who, but a real positive card came up. I think it was a Ten of Cups, like you get your wish, and then this card came up. So it's like they're totally, and with you, this is the star card. It's a major arcana. Like the, the, the planets are in line for you. This is your time to shine. You're the star. Um, you can feel the, the ebb and flow of life, and you're getting it. And then this card comes up, and this Nine of Swords indicates a time when someone is up late at night. You may be very tired, and that may be what it is. You may not necessarily be crying, but maybe you're not getting the sleep you need. And I am hearing the word medication, that some of you are needing to take medication to sleep. You're self-medicating. So just remember not to take too much, um, and especially alcohol with it. And I, I don't mean for this to be a preachy and or negative reading at all. This may not apply to some of you Aries. You're, some of you are probably thinking, well, I sleep great. I sleep through the night. So this is for a few of you out there. Um, I'm just saying that it's interesting how everything looks beautiful. It's light. It's shiny. The stars are out. Feeling like there's hope and there's optimism. Things are going your way. And then there's this. Um not feeling well. It might be that you have a summer cold, uh, winter flu, and if you're in the southern hemisphere, it may be thinking about finances or another person that you is not with you, a love loss, something like that. So there's something else that's going on that has your mind, has your attention by the end of August, or excuse me, by the end of July. Okay, so let's Turn over the bridge card. What do the energies moving into August look like? The Queen of Wands. Well, I'm loving it because most likely, Aries, this is you. This is a wand card. All right? So this is you showing up in your own reading. It could be a Leo or Sagittarius. It could be. But... Let's see. Let's turn over the other August cards. Judgment. Interesting. Getting some. I'm reading these straight up. Look how similar the colors are in these two cards. They're both major arcana. The judgment card is about a rebirth. So I do feel like this is you. I wanted to see these two cards before I... <laughs> Sorry, my dog wants in my lap right now, of course. Um, I wanted to see what these two cards were before I felt like if this was you. I do for a lot of you. I absolutely do. The Queen of Wands is passionate, fiery, takes charge. She has the essence of that. She's not the king. She's maybe not mastered it. But it's, it comes from her in a different way. She's the essence. When you're around her, you just know that she's like that. She's in charge. Man, I mean, she takes care of business. She has this life force. She loves animals. And maybe that's why my dog wants on my lap right now, because he can feel this passion um, about life and, and all. Here's her cat and her sunflower. And she's very creative and just likes to um, be the driver in life. She's able to do that without almost without saying a word. It's just her essence, her aura, her vibration. So I feel like for a lot of you that this weeping or this time of tiredness, you somehow, 
somehow let that go and become who you are. It's a time of, because you know what nine is about, this is the number nine card in, uh, in the suit and nine is, in numerology is about letting go. It's about completion. So there may be a situation in your life that is ending, completing, and you're just having to deal with it. But you come out all the stronger, Aries. Um, this could be, again, Sagittarius or Leo. Here's Leo the lion, but I'm, I'm kind of feeling like this is you coming out of your, what started out beautifully, little bit of glitch, but then coming into your own. I feel like you're rebirthing too, and that's what this may be about. If you look at it, she's tired, she's weeping, but then there's here's the judgment card, and the judgment is about judgment day, the day of reckoning, the day of seeing things how they really are. See how the, this family, all these people are standing nude in the water, and it's because they're new babes, they're Again, rebirthing their lives. It's the day of reckon reckoning. It's seeing what all has worked, what hasn't worked, and which one of those is the beneficial for you to move forward. Well, what works? And so this angel's blowing her horn. They're holding out their arms. They're very open to a change in life. Okay. And then the Eight of Pentacles comes up. So the Eight of Pentacles tells me that from this rebirth, from this newness in life, your, the stars are aligned for you. You will have work. You may be uh, not necessarily an apprentice, but you may be taking on more, more responsibility. You may be taking training or um, a course something to do with amping up your skills so that you're making more money. It's the eight. The eight is about abundance. The eight is about transition, infinity. So whatever you're working on here, Aries, is both spiritually, I feel like these are two very spiritual cards, and on the physical plane, I feel like for a lot of you, it both your money and your property and your body because here's, you know, this can be about feeling sick, like I said earlier, improves for you. All right, and this is the last bridge card. This was the second bridge card. Let's just put it that way. Well, interesting, this is the Three of Pentacles. So while this is the Eight of Pentacles, and sometimes these two cards remind me of each other. I know they're two totally different numbers, and in numerology, the Eight is bossy over the Three. The Eight's very much about business and you know, that sort of thing. And the three is usually like lighthearted and happy and joyful and creative and it's different sides of the brain. But this to me reminds me of more of wanting to help other people, uh, being in service of. It's very much a giving card. So while you're doing a lot of physical work here, you're making some money, it feels like some of you are all are, excuse me, going to be giving your time to possibly charity, um, helping rebuild homes, um, helping out with animals at a shelter, giving your time. There's definitely new skills being learned because both of these cards speak to me of using these skills, using these new skills in different ways. Maybe part of a new type of uh, organizational philanthropy, something. I'm, I'm just feeling some sort of philanthropy for some of you again. Okay, let's pull some clarification cards or a couple. How do you like these cards, by the way? Do you like them? I, I know you've probably seen them in other readings, and I've I always enjoy them. Well, this top one wants to come out, so what can I say? All right, so this is the Four of Cups. And it is, look at this, how she has her head down and he has his head down. Now, this is the Nine of Swords, and this is would be the Four of Cups in this particular John Holland deck. I didn't tell you which deck I'm using for clarification. So I some of you have been... 
yeah, discontent and boredom. And you're not, you haven't been seeing the light. Once you turn around and you face this magical kingdom, and I feel like you do here, this represents, to me, this represents your kingdom, then I think you'll see things in a much different light. Um, you'll feel more creative. You'll feel like this, this queen of wands, and then you'll be able to put your abilities to work. It could mean, it too, that you might be bored in a relationship. It could mean, and you all just need to do some things differently. Okay, who else wants to come out? Well, interestingly enough, look who. This is the same as the three of pentacles in the tarot deck. So you have two three of pentacles. Well, there went my sphere. Um, totally different artwork. Totally different. So, you know, I was talking earlier about using your skills and maybe philanthropy work. This is this is recognition and reward. So people noticing you, people noticing your talents, your abilities, what you do, um, receiving money and possibly a claim for the work that you're putting out into the world. Interesting that both in both decks, the three of pentacles came out. That means something, Aries. Um, it happens every so often. So you guys will receive accolades for what you're doing. And in the money department, it could be promotion. It could be um, advancement. It could be that you're forming a company yourself and people are noticing you and you're getting more and more clients. All right. So I'm going to add up the original six cards. And we have the star as number um, 17. Sorry. 17. And then we have 9 is 26. 27. Uh, 27, 37. I think your numbers are going to be 37 and 8 is what, 45, 46, 47, 48. Okay. And guess what 4 and 8 is? Of course, is 12, and then you deduce to the single digit. 1 and 2 is 3, so why not? Of course, it wouldn't be any other way for you guys. <laughs> the 3s seem to be abounding this particular mid-month to mid-month reading. All right, that's interesting. Okay, and so three in the traditional tarot is the Emperor, Empress card. And this is your typical mother figure. She is um, she's nurturing. She may be pregnant and giving birth to a human, another human, and or the birth of a new idea new projects, robust health. And you know the pentacles represent our health. So that would make sense because it looks like your health, your financial health is getting better, as is your body health. Fertility. All right, fertility meaning, again, both your projects and your mental health, your physical fertility is a very positive word. <clears throat> 